Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino, pre-market report on this Monday, September 18, 2023. Before we even touch on the market, I want to start off with this. They allow us to know certain things. Well, maybe that's not even true, but they throw numbers at us, and you and I are expected to believe these are real. Now, <laughs> these numbers are not real, none of them. Uh, they're all based on uh, lies, fabrications, and then they are spread as propaganda. Let's start off with, again, what they're allowing us to know, quote-unquote. So, as of just last week, 22% of U.S. commercial banks are seeking a lifeline from the Federal Reserve. They're already getting a lifeline. They're getting cash from the Federal Reserve, 22%, with another 55% signed up to also receive a lifeline from the Federal Reserve. Well, what's happening now is even more banks are applying for a bigger lifeline from the Federal Reserve. You see, this is all being hidden from people. You're not allowed to know this because, again, if people understood what's going on, uh, there would be bank runs like you can't possibly believe. And this goes back to the theory that I believe is fact that Nobody knows until everybody knows. Once people understand the system is coming apart right before our eyes, there's going to be massive bank runs. And like, I mean, real ones like lines down the street. They're probably going to lock people out of these institutions. You won't have access to your cash. But we know that the FDIC is not allowing you or me to know which banks are failing, which banks are under their microscope, and which banks can be taken over at any moment. Again, it's privileged information. You, that's what they said. They're not allowing people to know. But what we do know, again, banks seeking a lifeline, more banks seeking a lifeline from the Fed. The system is insolvent. The system operates in a constant vacuum, and debt is going to do skyrocket. Now, let's talk more about that. All right. Debts and deficits out of control, although we had a surplus because of some kind of technical accounting, which never happened. Again, there's no such thing as a surplus. The deficits are going to continue to grow and grow and grow as the debt gets larger and larger and larger. That's how the system works. They can try to trick you and tell you whatever they want. All right, and that's what they're going to do with the fake numbers, the fabrications, the distortions, the distractions, the look here's the look there. But you and I, we're awake. We know what's going on here. But I'm going to tell you again. I'm going to tell you again, and you do with this information what you want to. Unbank yourself. Get yourself out of their system. Keep only what you need in these institutions. The rest, find a place to put it. Okay, me, I think you should be converting that cash. If you have excess cash into hard assets, silver is my favorite of all time. But you can do your own work on this, your own due diligence on this. But this is what I feel in my heart of hearts needs to happen. Commodities, commodities, commodities are going to skyrocket moving forward. Look, you have to understand something else. People write to me all the time. Hey, Greg, what about supply and demand? Supply, supply and demand doesn't work anymore. Um, and again, with regard to the metals, the manipulation that we all know is going on. I mean, it's, you know, how many times has J.P. Morgan alone been caught red-handed rigging the metals markets and LIBOR and everything else. What do they get? A hand slap, a hand slap, a hand slap. They pay a fine, and that's it. So we know this is going on. Take advantage of this. At least that's what I think we should do. But make up your own mind uh, of, of what you feel need, you need to do for yourself. Now, with that said, this is a big week for the market. We got the Federal Reserve uh, monetary policy announcement coming on Wednesday. This market believes rate cuts are coming sooner than later. You all know that. I'm going to say this. I think the chance of a rate cut on Wednesday are extremely low. Um, a pause, I even, I even think that's low. Uh, I think the Fed more than likely here is going to raise rates again. A token rate hike, 25 basis points. They're going to try to sell you the lie again that they're fighting inflation. They're fighting it. Uh, and eventually they're going to raise rates high enough where inflation is going to turn around. I mean, we just found out last week wholesale inflation came in nearly twice what, what they expected it to. Uh, not you and me. 
uh, we, we understand where this is going. Although I'll be honest with you, I did not expect to see wholesale inflation skyrocket that fast. I knew it would be above their so-called projections because it always is. But um, that really took me by surprise as well. It's not going to stop. So you're going to see a lot more spending. In fact, a, a stratospheric, stratospheric government spending, which is the Federal Reserve. And they're going to tell you they want to cut back on spending, but it's not true. Uh, all central banks want to do is inflate. That's their power. You take that power away, we all win, they lose. You're going to hear the same narrative about the fight of inflation, but they're not fighting a damn thing. Uh, if they really wanted to stop inflation, they would contract the money supply, by, f and they could do this overnight. You know this already by having the major institutions hold cash in reserve, right? Do you realize? And don't take my word for this, because every time I say this, people don't believe me. Oh, Greg, you're wrong. Oh, Greg, you're lying. Okay, uh, do your own research. Open up a new search engine. It's not that hard. And look up the fact that we have a zero reserve system right now. There's no such thing as a fractional reserve system. We used to have a fractional reserve. Now we have a zero reserve. Okay, 2019 is when this came about. Imagine my shock. Imagine your shock here. But this is not going to stop. Anyway, so we got the Federal Reserve's announcement on Wednesday. That's going to move the market one way or the other. If, in fact, we get a pause, that would be very bullish for the stock market. I don't think it's going to happen. If we got a cut, the market would go absolutely you know, bonkers, and you would see stocks, the stock market rip higher. I, a, a pause here I don't think is, un, is likely, but it would send a signal to the market that cuts are coming sooner than later. I think we're getting a hike. All right, we'll see if I'm right. Um, anyway, the Fed does control the economy, the markets, the financial system, central banks control it. They'll do whatever they want, and uh, I think we're all well aware of, of that here. Um, now, just real quick, I woke up this morning to a whole bunch of text messages and, uh, and comments here. Yes, there was a spike last night in the 10-year yield, uh, which did push the Manorino Market Risk Indicator, MMRI, free to you, free to everybody, link below, uh, above 288. It did come down by some miracle overnight. A lot of debt buying, some people saying this is a glitch. I don't know. But it's kind of interesting to see how that played out here. So I was just writing some stuff down, and I, I want to just say this one more time. Expect debts and deficits can, to continue to skyrocket. Um, like you, you, you can't even possibly believe. Expect more propaganda, more lies, more distractions, more propping up of the stock market more than likely. Again, this is a presidential selection cycle here. I think we're pretty we're pretty clear on that. And and again, this this phenomenon of more banks seeking a lifeline. Don't don't take my word for this. Please look it up for yourself. More banks are seeking a lifeline from the Federal Reserve. This is going to get m m worse moving forward here. And this should tell you something. It really really should. All right. Let us now move over to what's going on this morning. Uh, 10 year yield 4.3, MMRI about 283 and change. Risk in this market is still in a very bad place. Um, crude oil, imagine my shock, imagine your shock, continues to get bid higher. Gold and silver slightly higher this morning. Cryptocurrency is getting bid higher across the board. The US dollar on a relative strength basis is slightly lower pre market. Trading doesn't start for literally an hour from the time I am doing this. And, and some of these, these dynamics of these numbers can change over the next hour. But all right, that, that's, the, that's all fluid and lovely and fantastic. But all these other things that I'm talking about here, people, um, I hope it's making sense to you. I really believe in my heart of hearts that you need to at least try to disconnect yourself from the current system. Get unbanked. I mean, think about the risk you're taking, okay? If we're not allowed to know which banks are on the FDIC's list that can be taken over at any moment here, okay? Um, do you feel comfortable leaving your cash in these institutions? You need to find a place to put it in my view, okay? Um, there are many avenues, many things that you can do with your cash but I think getting it out or getting unbanked, and I've been talking about this to the point of nauseam as of late, um, is something you seriously need to consider. Um, anyway, as I said, make up your own mind on this. Do what you think. Now, I want to hear from you. What do you believe the Federal Reserve is more likely to do come this Wednesday? Are we going to get a rate cut? 
are they going to pause or are we getting a token rate hike because they're so fixated they got to control inflation? It's an unbelievable thing. All they're doing, people, and you know this, I'm going to tell you again, cutting off the availability of credit to small businesses, destroying small businesses that are shuttering at their fastest pace since the, 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 the lockdowns here. The corporate agenda is being fulfilled. Everything is coming together for the military industrial complex the uh, the corporate agenda and the people are being destroyed they're being exterminated like bugs i think it's pretty evident all right people with that said i'm gonna i'm gonna end this video now i do want to hear from you if i covered something here interesting please let me know about it please give this video a thumbs up i'm counting on you to get this work out there if you think it's important and people need to know about it share it if you don't that's okay too uh, but i think most of you would especially if you're on my team believe that uh, this stuff is important for people to know. I think it's critical. I think it's crucial for people to know, especially with this whole banking issue. More banks seeking a lifeline from the Fed, propping up the system. It's a dead system. It's an insolvent system that operates in a, in a perpetual vacuum. It can't stop. So what are you going to do about it is the real question. Rem remember what I always tell you. This is a channel for people of action, not people who are going to sit back here and do nothing. All right. I'll see all of you 4.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for my live stream. I do have an interview today with nobody uh, special. Finance, I think he's very special, great, great guy. And I'm sure that'll be out soon for you guys to see. That's it, all right? Love you a lot. That's all.